When you show up to vote at your local polling place on election day, everything seems to be running smoothly. But there are a lot of details involved in running a polling place, and yours may have only a few workers who appear to be on their own. What happens if their poll location is locked at 6 a.m. when they arrive? What can they do if a voting machine malfunctions, or they find they don't have the right supplies for people to vote? Who can they turn to for help? Actually, these poll workers have a large, well-organized support structure managed by the Department of Elections. Let's take a look behind the scenes and see how running hundreds of polling places in San Francisco on Election Day is made as smooth and seamless as possible. Before a polling place can open at 7 a.m. on Election Day, it needs voting machines and support supplies. Delivery trucks gather a week before at the department's warehouse to load up equipment and supplies. So, you know, in a perfect world, we're going to have three trucks set up to load. Okay, there's going to be a DOE here with a scanner. Once he scans his bin and his insight, he'll tell you okay. These trucks will deliver to between 380 and 576 polling places around the city, depending on the nature of the election. So right now we're loading uh, polling place delivery trucks. These trucks contain uh, all the items, all the equipment that a polling place will need uh, for voters on election day. Voting booths, tables, chairs, informational materials, and most importantly, voting equipment. Those pods, as we call them, you see there, contain the Insight voting machine. It's uh, precinct specific. And these items are scanned and verified that they go to the correct precincts as they're loaded onto the trucks. So the scanner that they're using is going to be used right before it goes on the lift gate. Because these voting machines are set up to handle certain ballots at certain polling places in the city, it's very important that they go on in the correct order on the correct truck. So don't push the bins once the gate's up. Don't push the bins on the truck to get the gate back down a little more. No, because this driver knows that that's the order. He's going to expect that to be that way. We can't deliver these machines to the wrong polling places or they won't work for the ballots at that polling place. The driver has to remember he always has to pull from his right. So that's why we have optical scanning asset tracking and management system. All right, 7604. 7604. Every time we move a voting component, we track its location and the handling in our system. A week before Election Day, seven to ten trucks roll out every day to deliver about eight polling packages to different polls around the city. Hello. Department of Elections, dropping off polling place equipment. Using the scanning management system, a department employee checks off each polling place to make sure all have their voting machines and supplies. On election day, what happens if a poll worker discovers at 6 a.m. that the door is locked at the polling place? On election day, the rather sedate City Hall cafeteria is transformed into a busy hive of activity. Teams of election employees work to settle any issue that may arise in the field. This is the election center, is what we call the election center, and it's a, essentially a well-organized phone bank that we put together before every election. Then on election day, the poll workers can call in and ask for help and, and any procedural issue or ask for more resources. The very first calls we'll get in the day are the polling places locked. Often enough, the uh, polling place owners uh, are a little bit tardy compared to the poll workers to open up. The poll worker dispatch team, comprised of 60 to 80 standby poll workers, including bilingual workers, are stationed in the South Light Court, ready to be dispatched to any polling place with missing or possibly sick workers. And then there'll be procedural issues, how to complete the roster process. The machine might have a ballot jam. They need some help in, in trying to deal with the ballot jam. You press enter, and it'll say activating card, and when it's complete, it'll eject it, right? You call them and a representative on the other end, they'll say what's the issue, they'll take down your information, they'll relay, you know, we'll get your fed 
out to help you for the issue if it's something that they can resolve, but if they can't, then they'll call you back. Once an incoming issue is logged into a database, the database routes the issue to the appropriate phone bank and lists it on the screen in its category. The phone bank swings into action and the screen reflects steps that are taken to deal with the issue until it is resolved. So that it's also a transparent process so people in the public can actually come and look at the display of all the issues that we're dealing with uh, throughout the day starting at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. What happens if an edge printer won't work at a poll or there is an Insight machine malfunction? Dominion Voting Systems, the Colorado-based company which supplies machines, software and support to the Department of Elections, runs a phone bank here at the election center and also trains and then stages 20 to 30 technicians throughout the city on election day. The field support team tackles many of these basic polling place issues. Either they help the poll worker over the phone. She was so stressed out and I helped her out. Oh, yeah. Or they get a field election deputy or fed to respond out in the field. Before each election, the field election deputies learn the necessary skills to support seven to ten polling places in the field. So this is a copy of the materials that you'll get in your Fed binder. So everything in here are things that poll workers do not have. So they receive special training to troubleshoot equipment issues. So it takes a whole lot of people to run an election day, and there's also a big support team for each and every one of you. Then on election day, the Fed will check in with each polling place to make sure they are set up and running properly and be available to deal with possible issues. I want to confirm your insight uh, bin is locked, which it is, yes. and that your edge is fully set up. Some questions we can resolve easily over the phone, and for some questions we need to dispatch our field election deputies to those precincts. Each field election deputy has his or her own coordinator in the election center. And that coordinator would then get in touch with that specific field election deputy and inform him or her of that specific polling place that needs assistance. The field election deputies are our extension out in the field. They're on the ground, they're making sure that things are running uh, smoothly, and so they'll have extra, extra equipment, extra resources, extra ballots. And you have your ballots, and your ballot is a four-part ballot? Five-part five part. ballot. They're taking care of the finer details uh, that we can't really take care of here while we're in the election center. The field election deputies, or feds, are issued a smartphone with all the phone numbers that they need and also a checklist to follow as they visit their polling places. And they'll get a list of all the tasks they have to complete throughout the day. One example of a task, uh, between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m., uh, the feds should make sure that the polls are open and also drop off the supplemental ballots and check special requirements for the polling place. And when a task is completed, the Fed can indicate by checking the box. And as the Feds check each polling place with this unique smartphone application developed by the Department of Elections, the results are also trackable back at the election center. So there is real-time accounting of polling places. The Fed Coordinator back at the Election Center is able to access the Fed Coordinator Report Tool, which lists all of the Feds they're assigned to and all of the tasks the Fed is in charge of completing throughout the day. As a Fed checks off tasks in the field, such as picking up their Fed bags, dropping off ballots, assisting inspectors with ballot transfers, the Fed Coordinator can actually see in real time as those tasks are checked off by their Feds. This allows the Fed coordinator to track in real time all of the Fed's uh, work in the field. Perhaps things are going smoothly out at your polling place. And, uh, send me to your ballot. Your Fed checked in, and all is well. Okay, that completes task three for precinct seven eight three six. There's still more contact with the Department of Elections. Back at City Hall, there's another busy phone center proactively checking in with each polling place throughout Election Day. This is the Voter Turnout Call Center. 
This group of 10 high school poll workers are calling all 576 polling places to ask how many voters have come to each one. Hi. Yes, my name is Sally and I'm calling for the Department of Elections. Is this Precinct 7318? I'm calling to get an update on the red LED numbers on the front of your Insight machine. Could you read those to me, please? In addition to finding out overall voter turnout, specifically at each polling place, we are concerned with how many ballot cards are going into the Insight machines. I was wondering if you could update me one last time of the LED number. That information is going into a database that's also visible at the election center. When the voter turnout hits a certain threshold, showing that the Insight machine is getting full, the election center takes over. They notify the field election deputies. Then the field election deputy and a deputy sheriff go to the polling place and do a safe and secure ballot transfer from the Insight machine so that voting can continue. When the polls close, poll workers pack up and account for all the ballots, the roster of voters, the memory pack from the Insight voting machine, and the Edge printer with its results report. These represent the essential results of their polling place and need to be transported safely to the Department of Elections. Poll workers can count on a San Francisco parking control officer to take custody of the memory pack and a deputy sheriff to take custody of the ballots, roster, and the Edge printer. Finally, feds check in with the election center to confirm their polling places are secured after a long day. In the days following election day, the trucks that delivered the election supplies and machines will once again be dispatched all over San Francisco, picking up supply packages and machines for delivery back to the Department of Elections warehouse for unpacking and storage. So the next time you're at your local polling place, take a good look behind those poll workers if you look very closely, you may actually see the teams of people, systems, coordination, and technology that stand behind the poll workers to make your voting experience as smooth as possible. <laughs>